What's up guys, thanks for joining me. Today is uh, race four of the Mayhem 5 series. Got my new body painted here, my Ace of Spades. I'm gonna go over some things about the truck in a sec. Just wanted to show you guys the track out here. This is a awesome track, Coral Springs RC. Races are gonna start any second. Uh, they're just, looks like they're doing some track maintenance out there. I wanna show you guys this track. There it is, guys. I'm sure you've seen it on the race video, my previous one. Uh, I'll go in here and go over some stuff. Alright, so uh, I forgot to go over this last time. This rear bumper that I put on from the 410.3, uh, I'll, I'll put a video up about it. I really didn't show how to do it, but you, you take the old uh, the 410.3 bumper, cut right here. And then you cut the bottom till it lines up with the screw holes right there and it just mounts on guys it did well on the last race crossing my fingers that it holds up for this race um, other than that my car was really loose in the rear um, I didn't change anything drastic I started with lowering the punch level a little bit for my ESC settings and then what else did I do I did not have the stopper screw for the steering can't really see it right now because the wheels are on but there's a screw in here that stops this wheel from going even deeper and as you can see without it see this black mark right here it was biting into the arm of the actual truck because it was like over steering right there which can cause erratic steering so I put I put one screw there no washers I did forget about that so you know when you when you have an issue with the car you just change things a couple things at a time next step would be to either lower the diff oil in the rear or and start messing with my shock angles just to calm the rear down we'll see what happens this is my favorite body um, this is the TLR low C body pre-cut love the holes in it and it's already pre-cut like that there's actually two more holes you can cut out right here in the rear of the right rear right and left rear fender so other than that I'll give a race report after the race I just hope to stay together and drive good these are the striker Evo VP Pro tires I ran uh, the last race and these are soft compound I'm gonna run them again today that's the thing with these I, I mark them so that they're in the you know the right place I even balance them as you can see there um, I balance the wheels so they're not flopping all over the place it really does help keep the car calmer and more consistent all right guys so check this out dialedrc.com and uh, nitro pro servos and basically my setup is Jared Wiggins setup which you can get at technorc.com setup sheets well, a couple more quick side notes guys I just want to let you know on the camera here I am running in the front uh, negative two and a negative three in the rear that's the angle this way and then on the toe I'm towed out I'm two degrees out on each side all right so it's hard to see on camera yeah there you go you can kind of see it towed out from there another quick update guys I'm chasing uh, a fix for this loose rear end now I'm spinning out a little bit I'm thinking I'm gonna have to go down in the diff oil and I'm waiting for a heavier um, sway bars I'm getting the whole set they're just uh, just haven't arrived yet so for the for the main race um, I'm going to try inner on the shock and outer on the bottom the second qualifier I did outer on the bottom and left it in the middle um, it helped a little bit so I'm hoping this helps even more other than that like I said lowering the diff oil in the rear or adding the heavier sway bar but so far the car is doing great um, the rear bumper is holding up so if you guys were on the fence about doing this upgrade here it is that's uh, one full race which is two qualifiers and a main and it's got two qualifiers on right now uh, these kind of twist a little bit but not a big deal just put them right back and it seems to be holding up because I am definitely doing some cartwheels out there you know not on purpose <laughs> Here comes a race, coming up right now.
Less than five. Dante and one, Henry and two. Dante's on a 28-11. Henry's on a 19-8-24. And Buckus is on a... I don't know what happened. Oh, Raymond Six took over Buckus's left. spot. Raymond is on a 17-8-0-2. Four. Five. And Frank is on a 16-8-0-6. Seven. Eight. Two. Nine. Three. Ten. All right, Ready Four. Teddy's back on the mat. One. He's got a couple little laps to make up. Five. Six. Two. Seven. Eight. Three. We got Dante still on one. He's in that 19808. Henry's playing a close behind him about 15 seconds back on a Five minutes 19, left. Four. 825. Four. And Raymond on an 1824. Six. Two. Seven. about four minutes left, four minutes left. We got Dante in one, Henry two, Raymond three, Sean four, four Brian four minutes five, left. Patrick five. six, Gary seven, Mike's moves up to the eight, Frank nine, two, Teddy ten. Eight. Six, Teddy nine. is about four laps back from the front seven, and about one. ten. Yeah, he's a good three laps back from the top five. Three. Four. But there's a chance. Two. Five. One. Nine. Other side. Other side, Marshall. Seven. Other side over here, over in this lane. Three. 
Four. Three minutes left. Tattoo. One. Five. Eight. Six. Seven. I hope three. we got all that on film. I hope we got all that on film. Nine. One, two, five, eight, ten, six, nine. All right, let me go back up here and see what three. five action we got going. We got two minutes left. We got Dante, one, Henry, two, John, three, Raymond, two. four. Broke, I broke. Two, Ryan, broke. five, Gary, six. Patrick's in that lucky number seven. Teddy's moved five. up to that number eight. Mike dropped down to uh, nine and Frank in ten. Uh-oh. Three, not one. All right, we're gonna shake up here a little bit. Let's get reset. Caution in the triple, caution in the triple. All right, we're clear. Four. Seven. Five. Six. One. Three. Eight. One minute left. Four. Two. All right, guys, we got less than a minute. Five. Less than a minute. Let Four. me give you what Three. we got. We got Dante one, Henry did two, Sean three, Brian four, Gary five. Raymond's in six, Teddy seven. Eight. Mike moves up to number eight. Four. Seven, one, two, three, five. Eight. Four. All right, guys. Seven. The race is over. What's up guys, just got off the track and here is the truck. The shock positions, at least for the, the way I have my sway bars, the stock sway bar and the stock diff, the shock position really helped. I felt the difference as far as the car not wanting to spin out in the rear. So there's two races, two qualies, so four qualies and two mains with that bumper and it's, it's holding up. Uh, let me just knock on wood here. <laughs> As you never know the battery is virtually in the same position as it was in the first race uh, i wanted it to run it back here more but it actually started sticking out like here because this wasn't here to block it so i gotta figure something out but you know what it flew a lot better today even though it was super breezy today compared to last race but yeah i appreciate you guys watching if you have any questions as far as um the way the car is or any of my setups let me know um, the 17 tooth pinion here is holding up with the preset gear mesh. Um, no issues there. The Reedy 510R power system with the um, 540M3 Sonic is doing great. Um, yeah, I've got zero, zero complaints about this car, guys. Everything has been working out well. Um, yeah, just want to thank you guys for watching. And oh, second race with these Striker Evos. And let's get a close-up on the wear here. Not too bad. I could probably still get a quali or two out of that. I might even just run these on the qualies in the main for the next race. Uh, try to save the expense on tires. You know, that's, that's the most expensive part of this hobby, I think. Yeah, tires did great. Car did great. 
these GNB batteries did, are doing really good. Um, no issues, guys. Thanks again for watching. Be safe and keep on driving.